Scripture calls the devil our adversary in 1 Peter chapter 5 and describes him as a roaring lion walking about seeking those he can devour. In this mini-series on defeating the devil, we're looking at the power of faith, the power of the name, the power of resistance, the power of the word and the power of your testimony. But right now, there's wonderful power, as the great old hymn puts it, in the blood of Jesus. It's quite usual for those who are new in the faith to be attacked by the devil because he just hates people coming to Christ. But any of us can be targeted. If you or someone you know has experienced Satan's attention, this whole series should help you or them defeat him. In the revelation of Jesus Christ given to the Apostle John in chapter 12 and verse 10, we read how the devil, here called the accuser, was cast down from heaven by the power of Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Now watch how the saints of the Most High overcame the devil in the very next verse. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. The Lamb was the sacrifice at Passover. When the angel of death saw the blood of the Lamb on the doorposts, he spared that house. The Lamb prophesied Jesus. So that means the blood of Jesus has the power to forgive your sins, spare you from wrath and keep you from spiritual death. It's important to recognise just how central to the plans of Almighty God is the blood of Jesus. We read in Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 11, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. The Old Testament sacrifices foretold the sacrifice of Jesus, who was and is perfect and sinless. So by trusting in his blood, your sins are forgiven. That's what atonement means. And when Jesus put in place what we now know as Holy Communion at the Last Supper, in Matthew chapter 26 and verse 28, he said this of the cup of wine, For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. And in the previous verse he said, Drink ye all of it. So there is something we can draw on of the power of his blood, even at the Lord's table. It reminds us his blood has defeated and will always defeat the devil. By shedding his holy blood on the cross, Jesus broke Satan's hold on you. If you believe in Jesus, you're forgiven and redeemed. And as Jesus rose from the dead, even right now you can have faith that the blood of Jesus releases you not just from the stain of sin, but from the power of sin. By his blood, sin will not have dominion over you. The devil's authority over you has been broken. You're one of the believers John spoke about. You can call on the blood of the Lamb and defeat the devil. Tell the devil, you have no hold on me. Be gone. I'm under the blood of Jesus. Tomorrow, we'll look at the second part of that verse, the power of your testimony, and the day after, consider the power of his name. Last week, we had the power of faith, the power of resistance, and the power of the word. If you're viewing this video any time after May 2018, all those videos will be on this channel. If this one helped and encouraged you, please share it around and help others defeat the devil by the wonderful power in the blood.